Hey, so I got hit up by Robbie Official, and this one did not waste any time to get to the scam. Thank you so much for your love and support, diehard fan like you. Keep me going, bless you. I said, you're welcome. Sorry, you messaged me at 9pm last night. It's okay, I understand. How you doing today, and where are you from? I said, hi, and again you messaged late evening. I'm from Australia, so our time difference is big. Oh, okay, I understand. Nice meeting you, fan. Thanks for supporting my dream and carrier. God bless. How long have you been a fan? I said, to be honest, I don't know any of your new stuff. I saw you perform at the AFL Grand Final, and I like that. Thank you. Just had a show last night in Singapore. It was amazing. Thanks for being my great fan. So far, bless you. I said, yeah, I saw the post. Great. I know you must be surprised I'm texting with you now, but this account was created by my management team. I just come in to check once in a while. You're very lucky to get a response from me today. Oh boy, am I lucky. I said, I'm not really surprised. Social media has changed the landscape. I think it's heaven wish I talk to you and you know all my life has been on the road. And on around social media, he said, that's true. I said, does your wife and three kids come with you? Ah, uh, not this one. Sometimes they come with me. I said, that's nice, family together. Yeah, thank you. Are you married and do you have kids? I said, neither. Oh, okay. How old are you and what's your name? I said, Julia, and I'm 40. Wow, that's a beautiful name, Julia. What do you do for a living? Checking to see if I have money. I said, I'm a teacher. That's great. Are you in a relationship? I said, LOL, that's hardly anyone's business, is it? I'm not married, that's enough. I see why you're busy. Isn't it easy being a teacher? You're doing really great, said a patronising scammer. And I understand about it not being his business. I said, I'm a lecturer at a university, so it gets busy, yes. Okay, hope your work doesn't stress you. We can't deviate from the scammer handbook. I said, why would it stress me? I love my job. I studied for years for it. That's just lovely, he said. I said, I saw your post about Carlton. It's good you're still a fan. The Aussie news went mental, lol. Will you come back to watch the finals? Maybe. Be I will, I'm on a very busy schedule right now, but I can just give our time to watch, said our scammer who had no idea what I'd said. That's good, I said. I'll keep an eye out for any posts, especially if they make the final. Okay, Julia, love her. Will you like to see me in person? I said, I've already seen you perform, so unless you're coming back here, I don't see how. Must say that I have enormous respect for you, considering the manner in which we have made contact with each other. I am very glad you are a fan of mine. God bless you some more. I said, okay, thanks. My management and I are planning on setting up a meet and greet with me and a few fans who have my membership fan card. This is the least I can do to show appreciation for the love and support my fans show to me. Here's the scam, guys. I said, are you coming here then? And when? I might be coming for a meet and greet, but for a show, not for now. <laughs> he doesn't do his research. Robbie is coming to Australia. I said, are you sure... And he goes, if you have my membership fan card, you can contact my management team to apply for a meet and greet. I said, it's a three-day flight down. And then to being sure that he's not coming to Australia, he goes, of course I'm sure. Yes, and I might just have a vacation there. Also, I do this, but not all the time. An Australian is on my mind right now, so no big deal. <laughs> I said, but your official website says you're here in November. I just checked. You said you weren't. And then around the membership card, I said, I'll look into it online. Your official.com account's really good. All the details are there. We don't have it on my official page because we don't often do the meet and greet. But you can contact my management team for your membership fan card. They'll process it with your name and it'll be sent to you. Then an appointment will be made for us. Which fan membership card would you like to purchase? Regular, £500. VIP, £1,000. VVIP, £1,500. 
silver fan card, £2,000, gold fan card, £2,500. And then about it not being on his official website, I said, yes, it is. And around um, the, the money, I said, why is it in pounds? And I'm not paying a grand to meet anyone because my management team is from the UK. I said, what are Australian prices? Because you know currency doesn't work that way, right? You will convert it to your currency. I'm not forcing you to do this. I just wanted to give you the opportunity to meet with me. I said, sure, I'll get it online from your official account. Ticketek sells it all. I don't have it on my official page. Just my tickets are on sale there. This card is far more different from my ticket. Getting the card has benefit of concert ticket pre-sales, meet and greet opportunities, unique merchandise, and access to exclusive news and media. I said, those prices are insane. And why are you online trying to flog this stuff? Don't you have a marketing team? Yes, I do. If you want my management team email. I said, sure, send it then. I'll send it to you. Management group 7 at outlook.com. I said, an Outlook account. Here is my management team email. Contact them and let them know I have this email to you in person so they'll respond to you faster. I said, I'm definitely not British Robbie Williams. Anything wrong with that around having Outlook? I said, I didn't think anyone used it anymore. That's all. It's like Yahoo. They do. Contact them and let them know what you'll contact them for and the card you're going for and I want to help you so it'll be faster. But contact with them. I said, so Robbie, you know that selling online of any counterfeit or fake tickets, passes or cards is against Instagram policy and is considered fraud. Getting reported for it means not only this account gets banned and taken down, but any others you have tied to your number and email get banned. Fraudulent actions are reprehensible and I'll certainly be emailing that management company also, as well as sending this to Robbie. Have a nice day. So he saw it six minutes ago. I don't think he's going to respond. I ob- The second he posted those prices, I got him for fraud. So I'm going to, I've reported him, obviously, and I'll see what happens. I'll keep reporting him. Just a little bit of nothing, but I just wanted to show you an example of how they get you. I know a lot of people have fallen for these sort of fake VIPs, fake ticket sales, scams. Um, it's all over the news at the moment. There's a massive rise in them, so please be careful out there. Bye.